Halloween sees the return of mute mass murderer Michael Myers. A complete retcon of the last 40 years of film, the movie places the madman in an asylum where he has remained since the 1978 original film. After breaking free, the serial killer wrecks havoc once more in an attempt to kill Laurie Strode. However, she is no longer the quivering girl that she was in the original movie. There's a lot to unpack from the film's ending, and throughout this video I'll be discussing the ending of Halloween in full detail, so there will be heavy spoilers. With that out the way, I'm Definition, and I ruin the movie, so you don't have to. After murdering five people on Halloween in 1978, Michael Myers has been behind bars. Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, is conscious of the fact that one day he will escape, so she's spent the last 40 years preparing and training for his return. Upon being transferred to another prison, Michael escapes and returns to the town to finish the work that he started 40 years ago. We discover that he was freed by Dr. Sartain in order to continue his rampage. Sartain was the successor to Dr. Loomis and wanted to see how Michael would react after struggling to gain any insight into his condition. He allowed two podcasters to bring Michael his mask to get a rise out of him and wanted to provoke the killer to react and remember his original attack. Sartain wanted to see Michael tick and whilst we never get a complete explanation for his actions, I believe that he spent so long in the madhouse that he became mad himself. Constant exposure to the insane and killers seems to have vastly affected his psyche and Sartain's struggle to view the world is simply more than patience. Sartain clearly admires Michael and when he becomes a killer himself, tries on the mask to see if he can get a glimpse into his world. This proves futile however and the character is eventually murdered, which to me symbolises that Sartain, no matter what, would never be able to see and understand things from the killer's perspective. In the midsection of the film, Michael goes on a rampage and several people are murdered before he and Laurie finally face off against each other. Their final showdown contains a lot of easter eggs and callbacks to the original movie, such as the two facing off in the same room that had the cupboard scene in the original, as well as Laurie disappearing when wounded, which juxtaposes when Michael did it in the past. During the confrontation, Laurie manages to trap Michael in a safe room with help from Karen and Allison, her daughter and granddaughter respectively. In preparation for his return, Laurie fortified her house and built a safe room into it which had bars and blockades that could be put in place to stop people entering it. Throughout the film, Karen has been acting weak and defenceless in order to paint herself out as an easy target. The two use themselves as bait in order to lure Michael to the panic room and when he's forced into it, Laurie uses the opportunity to trap him down there. Laurie fills the safe room with gas before throwing a flare into it to set it ablaze. Michael apparently dies within the burning building and we watch as the three survivors embrace as they go to safety. What I love about the film is that it references the original in several intelligent ways. Whilst films like The Force Awakens are straight up remakes, this is a remake in an evolved sense as Michael Myers is purposely trying to relive the night of the first film. Things such as Allison being in school and looking out the window to see Laurie there before she disappears are detailed down to the fact that Allison is even attending the same lesson that Laurie was in the 1978 film. The easter eggs in every scene are simply astounding and I definitely recommend that you go back and check out the original as it will paint this film in a better light. So, what did you think of the ending of Halloween? Did you enjoy it and do you think Michael Myers will return? What's your favourite Halloween movie? Is it Halloween, Halloween, or Halloween? Yeah, they do need to kind of rename these movies. Anyway, comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You love our weekly videos if you're a fan of film and it massively helps us out. Make sure you check out my Ending Explain video for the Netflix film Hold the Dark, linked at the end of this one. And thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.